Hello, today we're going to talk about graphing systems of linear equations. All right, the first thing we need to do is go over a couple of uh, phrases. So consistent equations are equa equations that have at least one point in common. They can have multiple. Inconsistent are parallel lines because they will never touch them, never cross. You'll never get uh, an answer for this. So whenever you have a system of linear equations, that are parallel lines they will never ever touch. You also have independent equations, which is a set of linear equations that share exactly one common point as a point of intersection. So an example of an independent equation would be if I had, let's see what I have here, y equals one half x plus two, and y equals negative 3x plus 2. So when I graph those, their point of intersection would be at 0, 2. I'm not going to graph them, but these two, when I graph them, there's one answer. It's not all real numbers or anything crazy like that. So now we are actually going to graph systems of linear equations. All right, the first most important thing you need to know about graphing systems of linear equations is they both have, when you graph them, you, they both have to be in the slope-intercept form. So here I have x plus y equals negative 4. So I have to switch this over to slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So then I just put this down here. All right. So... A system of linear equations are two equations that have one answer usually. So they're two lines that when you graph them, they will meet somewhere and that point will be an answer for both of these equations here. All right, there's other ways to do it that we'll learn later, substitution, elimination, and they have one called addition. Um, but that's all we're trying to find here. So usually I would do, if I was just doing one of these, I said y equals 2x minus 1, and let's say x equals 2. You know I plug in uh, y equals 2 times 2 minus 1, so y equals 4 minus 1, so y equals 3. So y equals 3 here, so my point would be 2, 3. But if I plugged it into this one, said so y equals negative 2 minus 4, so y equals negative 6. So here I get 2 negative 6. 2 negative 6 is not the same thing as 2, 3. So this is not my one answer. All right, so there's processes to figure it out. The first one, which we're about to show here, is graphing. All right, when you graph two linear equations, they will usually cross if they are consistent equations, which is what we talked about. So we're gonna graph these. I'll keep the colors the same. So here we go. So we're looking for where they cross. So I will Graph the first one. I like using two different colors so I remember which line's which. So y equals 2x minus 1. My negative 1 is my y-intercept. So that's my first point. Your y-intercept is always your beginning part. Now I have to do rise over run. So here my slope is 2 and my y-intercept is negative 1. Now if you want to plug in points to it, you can do that also to solve it. I am not going to. Just to show you, so if you want to do y equals 2x minus 1, do x and y. So I'm plugging in negative 1, 0, and 1. I could plug those in and get x, y points. I'm just not going to. But why not show you how it's done? Just for you in case you want to. So my first point here would be negative 1, negative 3. Then I plug in 0, so I get y equals negative 1, 
and then plug in my last one. Y equals two minus one, so Y equals one. So those would be my three points. I graph them up there, and why not? Sure, I'll do this one this way. So there it is, negative one, and one, one. All right, so there we go. We did that one the whole method way. Cool beans, I didn't mean to do that at all, I just wanna show you that's one way of graphing a line. The other way is by finding the slope and the y-intercept. I know my slope here is negative one, uh, my y-intercept is negative four. So I start at one, two, three, four. Then I do my slope at negative one, so that's rise over run. So it's negative one over one. So I go up one, over one. Okay. All right, so where these two cross is my answer. They cross at negative one, negative three, right there. So negative one, negative three is a solution that where I can plug into either of these equations and it will work. So, Let's try it just to show it. So let's start with our first one, x plus y equals negative four. Plug in negative one, negative three. Negative one minus three equals negative four. Check. Take the second one, y equals two x minus one. Plug in negative one, negative three. So negative three equals negative two minus one. So negative three does equal negative three. So both of these, uh, work with negative one, negative three. This is the only point in all of infinity where these two will cross and get you an answer for each. All right, example number two. All right, we're gonna graph this. So when you have y equals negative five, what you're gonna have is a completely horizontal line when you graph it. Just to show this, all right? So I say, think about this y, it says y is always gonna equal negative five. So if I plug in negative one here, is there anywhere to plug in negative one there for the x? No, so it's gonna be negative five. My y is always gonna be negative five, so it doesn't matter what I put in here. So when I graph it, I'll get negative one, negative five, zero, negative five, one, five, one, negative five. There you go. You get a completely horizontal line. All right, now I'm gonna graph this one. So my slope is three over one. My y-intercept is negative two. Rise over run for my slope. So I start at negative two, and then I do my rise over my run. So one, two, three over one to make sure it's a positive line. Oops, because a positive line, negative line, negative positive. And they cross, luckily, because I already did the points, at negative one, negative five. So if I plug that into both of them, it would work. So, all right, example number three. So we'll graph this top one first, and we'll do it using our table. Just so I can show you, you don't have to use a table for either of them, or you can use a table for both of them to graph it. Or you can do it the other way where that I'm gonna do for the blue one. So since that's one six, I'm gonna plug in a number that's gonna get rid of the one six. So negative one six times six plus one. So it gives me negative one plus one, which is zero. Plug in zero. So I get negative one six times zero plus one. So zero plus one is one. 
and then I plug in negative 6 here. Gives me 1 plus 1, which is 2. So I'm going to graph these three points at 6, 0, 0, 1, negative 6, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0, 1, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2. It's a horrible looking line, but that's the line of the black one using the table. Now we're going to graph this one. We're going to graph this one using the techniques we know. <coughs> Ooh, that hurt a lot. All right, nobody watches this anyways. Start negative two, slope, so rise up one. It's a positive slope, so I'm gonna go over three. Right there. Up one, over three, did it different wrong. There we go. And they're going to cross right there at 6, 0. So that is the solution. So if I plug 6, 0 into here, 6 in here, I'll get 0. If I plug in 6 here, I'll get 0. So one answer that they both have in common. Alright, and this is the last thing I'm going to talk about. So, if you get something that's y equals 6 or y equals negative 4, or you get like y equals 3x plus 6 or y equals 3x minus 4, you're going to get parallel lines. When you have parallel lines, these are inconsistent and there's no solution ever. When your slope is the same and your y-intercepts are different, you get parallel lines. But over here, when your slopes are the same and your y-intercepts are the same, this is all real numbers, or you can call it infinite solutions, whatever you want. So when the slope is the same and the y-intercept is the same, it's infinite solutions are all real numbers, whatever you want to call it. When the slopes are the same and y-intercept is different, then they're parallel lines and there's no solution. All right, this has been Graphing Systems with Linear Equations. Hope it helped. Good luck.